Hey RC people, Tony here, CCXRC, and we have the WL Toys 12404 on the bench. We're going to unbox it for you, and I think this is the first video that is going to be on YouTube about this car. I looked for reviews on it, I was really interested in it when I saw it pop up on the GearBest site back in like October, November last year. Uh, it went up for pre-sale, I started asking uh, one of the reps there about it, and uh, I said, well, there's no videos on it, what, what's going on with this? Um, and so they sent me one of them to review, which I have here for you. Uh, so a 4x4 Truggy, 112 scale. I'm hoping that it's everything I expected the 9116 or wanted the 9116 to be that is not made by WL Toys. Um, I got that at the same time that I got a couple of other WL Toys 118 scale, the buggy and the little short course truck. And the, the WL Toys ones were awesome. They were super fast. Uh, the 9116 was slow and two-wheel drive, and it's... It just didn't uh, do what I wanted it to. I got those two little ones for my boys, and I was hoping to run the 112th, and it just did not keep up. It was hard to control in dirt with the two-wheel drive. It would be more for a beginner. It's not a bad car, um, but it's just it wasn't what I was looking for and wanted out of it. I just had higher expectations. So, as you can see, this box is severely damaged upon arrival. I have not had any of my gearbox boxes come in damaged like this, uh, so that was interesting. Um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this open for you right after the break. Awesome. Alright, so here is their controller for it. On the front you've got your uh, throttle for your drive reverse to get that trimmed in and a steering trim. Over here you have your on off switch and a mode button. There's one, two, three, four listed. I don't know what that does. Small little uh, wheel or grip here and uh, trigger feels pretty good in your hand. Again, it's great for one handed driving. Everything's nice and compact, which will be nice. And then it'll take four AA batteries uh, that go in the bottom. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the battery here. It's a 1500 milliamp 2S battery, Dean's connector, 7.4 volt, and so that'll get you some speed. So you've got two extra gears and the tool that come included as well. All right, so here she is. See the, uh, the tires here? Doesn't feel like there's any foams in them. They're glued on to a plastic rim. It has a fake light box here in the front. They are not working lights. The orange to yellow fade on the body looks pretty good. It's got a little plastic fin from the rear. This does have that E-Revo look to it. Kind of sits like it's leaning, tilting upward. Kind of a really sleek back design. Kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead and pop these off and take a look under the hood. So the fin's gonna actually come off with the body, it looks like. Alrighty, so that is a 550 size can with a purple heat sink on it. Here, we've got a combo ESC and receiver on the top with our on off switch right there as well. The battery, you can see, is gonna go here under this strap, and that's a really roomy battery tray, so we could put much bigger batteries in that came, than the ones that came with it. Uh, what else do we got? T-style connectors, Dean style. Up front, we've got our independent suspension with our A-arms down there, which are solid, stamped plastic. We do have adjustable links in there. Have metal dog bones coming out here. Let's take a look at the rear. The rear looks very similar, maybe just reversed on the arms. I don't know that exactly. They might be a little bit longer. Bumper. I mean, everything looks all right. Plastic body mounts here. Body posts. Our servo is on the side here. So there's nothing uh, that I can really say or know about this exactly until I get out and run it for you guys. Uh, but it, it'll set you back about $76. I did talk to uh, my rep at GearBest, uh, Sarah, who's been very kind to me. 
and asked if I could get you guys some kind of code, specifically before for the bison to get a discount when uh, the sale ended. And she gave me that, which was uh, just put in CCXRC. If you're getting a bison, you get 10% off. But then she also gave me a code, uh, CCXRCGB, which will get you 8% off of any single non-sale item at GearBest, which will get this down to about $70. Um, so we'll get out there and get a run video for you guys with it. And, uh, yeah, um, I'm excited about giving it a try, and I'm hoping uh, that this four-wheel drive little truggy will be awesome. Here's a look at the underside chassis of the vehicle. You can see it's just a plastic chassis. Nothing looks kind of out of the ordinary there. I do think it's kind of weird they've got these two little flaps that go there. Um, they'll seem like they might catch on some things. They kind of stick down. But we'll see. We're going to run this through some tests for you guys, let you know how it handles. All right, well, there's a quick look at the WL Toys 12404. I'm really excited about this car, guys. I can't tell you. I've wanted something about this size in a truggy um, that was four-wheel drive, could take some abuse. It says it's waterproof on the box. On the website, it says splash-proof. So I don't plan on really testing the waterproofness of this. Um, but it says it should be able to handle puddles, probably snow, um, and splashes and stuff like that. I'm not going to be submerging this intentionally. Uh, the suspension on it feels alright. It's a little bit bouncy, but um, it says it goes 45 kilometers an hour, and they usually rate that a little bit high. Just almost all of them do. Uh, so on 2S, I'm guessing it'll get somewhere around there. That's about 27 miles an hour. We might be pushing more like 23. Uh, but that should be good enough for what it is uh, but we'll get it out there guys I can't wait to get it out and get some run footage because I have not seen anything showing this thing in action yet so I'm excited to get out there and do that for you uh, if this is kind of your style of a car uh, I like the bigger wheels on this than say the uh, the little uh, short course or trophy truck from WL Toys that I showed you the one two uh, four two three I believe it was it's tough. I wish they'd just give them names, guys. The number thing is so hard for me to remember. I'll put just, uh, links in the description below if you want to check out some of the different ones. We're going to see how it handles, how it drives, uh, how it jumps, what kind of abuse it can take. And again, I'm really looking forward to it, and I can't wait to be able to show that to you in the very near future. So keep your eye out for that if uh, this is something that interests you guys. But thanks for tuning in. As always, Tony here at CCXRC. Thanks for stopping by. Have fun RCing. We'll see you next time.